I'm going to walk you through two uh, very simple reporting options for you uh, just to look at your conversion data from your performance max campaign and break it out by channel and today we're going to be looking at um, your shopping channel versus your search channel. Hello YouTube, my name's Mel. I'm a client manager here at Solutions 8, I'm making my YouTube debut today. So please be kind. <laughs> I'm gonna walk you through two uh, very simple reporting options for you, uh, just to look at your conversion data from your Performance Max campaign and break it out by channel. And today we're gonna to be looking at um, your shopping channel versus your search channel. So I'm gonna make myself uh, small down in the corner here and we're gonna get going. Um, so I'm in one of my client accounts right now. We're going to go to reports. We're going to go predefined reports. We're going to go shopping and we're going to go shopping MCID. So this is going to tell us how many conversions um, have been from the shopping network. I'm just checking my um, dates there. I just want to look at the last seven days just to keep things consistent for the video. So we're going to look, um, we're going to add level of detail, add campaign. And then what we're going to do is add a filter and you're going to go campaign name here. And we're going to put in PMAX. So I've got my PMAX campaign listed here. Um, this will be blurred out for you, but you'll be able to see um, I've got 2.8 conversions from the shopping network in the last seven days. So this is one option on how to see um, what's coming from the shopping network. I'm going to show you now. I'm just going to hop over to another screen here and I'm going to show you from the search network. So we are in the same client account. I'm going to choose that same performance max campaign. I'm going to go into insights. And then I'm going to do the same date range. So that's the last seven days. I'm going to change this to conversions. And let's just go 10 for good measure. So we've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.8 essentially. So what we'll find here is um, these insights also show you what's come from the shopping network. So you'll have to um, minus 2.8. So we'll say that we've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 minus 2. So we've got 10 conversions from the search network. And then we've got over here 2.8 um, conversions from the shopping network. So um, that is the first way on how to see this data. Um, this is within Google Ads. The second way that you can see this, if you go into your analytics account, um, I'm going to client analytics account right now. I'm just going to go down to attribution down the bottom. Now, this is still in beta, but it seems that it's got this cool capability where we can go into Google Ads performance. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. We'll click here. We're going to do the same date range just to keep things super consistent here. All right, so we're going to look at, this is the Performance Max campaign that I've been dealing with here. So we've got 7903. You're going to look at your campaign um, ID number here, and it's just below um, your campaign name. So 7903. So if we're looking for this number here, we've got 7903, and we've got 7903. And if we hover over this icon, it's going to tell me what network this is. So this is telling me search network. And if we have over here, this is telling me shopping network. So I'm actually going to just change this to data driven because that is what uh, we are using as an attribution model. So if we look um, 7903 on the shopping network, 2.73. So if we go back to Google Ads, we've got 2.80. So you'll see a little bit of discrepancy between uh, Google Ads and analytics. That's always going to be the case, but that's uh, pretty darn close. And if we head back in here, we've got 7903 in the search, and it's got uh, 10 conversions from the 
search network in the last seven days. So uh, same data, just different platforms. Um, so you can look at it within Google Ads, and then you can also look at it uh, within your analytics account. Um, now, shout out to our friend on Twitter um, for bringing to our attention uh, this attribution um, screen, I guess, uh, capability in uh, Google Analytics now. Um, so you can see the same reporting within Google Ads, uh, but if you want to just to look at it through analytics, you've got that option too. Um, just like Cosm would say, if you like this video, if you like what we do here, please like, uh, click subscribe, all of the things, tell your grandma, as John Moran would say. Um, I know this one has been a short one. Hopefully it's brought in some value to you if you're struggling um, with Performance Max Insights. Hopefully this will give you some uh, good data to work with. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye. Hey everyone, John Moran here with Solutions 8, and tonight, and I say tonight because it's one sixteen in the morning, uh, I'm going to share with you an amazing update to Google that is extremely, extremely valuable, and I think that everyone needs to see it. So